So just as the title says, I fired 13 people within the first two years of doing business in Ghana. Doing business in Ghana can be very challenging. One of the things that really helped us to get into the momentum of trying to do business in Ghana was the network that we had that we started with. So I had a classmate who actually helped me get to know certain people, advised me on, you know, the areas and things that I could do, doing some registrations at the GRA, registering my business, gave me a few contacts at the pharmacy council to help with the pharmacy regulations and things like that. But very quickly, I realized that the mindset of people here is completely different. The first time actually I was, you know, brought to the place where I was supposed to sack someone, I was thinking, whoa, you know, is that something I really want to do? But then I was faced with that and I either have to let that person go or it affects my business. Now, mind you, we've, we employ more than 14 people in the business. And if for any reason, one person is becoming a problem, then we have to unfortunately let them go. You know, how did I get to the place where, you know, I have to let people go from the company? The first person, what he was doing was he was actually stealing from us. It's unfortunate. You get this every now and then. It's not new. In any country where you want to do business, you will get some people who are bad apples, right? There's always some bad apples. But for me, it wasn't so much about the stealing, but however, it was the communication that was not happening. Now, this person never came to me to say, I needed help with this, I needed this amount, or um, I have issues going on in the family, and for that reason, this is what I need. The person was literally just taking what they think you know, they can take from the business. And when I put all that money together, it was well over 10,000 cities. If you can do this at a small scale, then of course you can do that at a large scale. Anybody that knows me knows that I'm a big believer of people improving themselves and becoming better people. But of course, in that process, I understand that we're human and certain things can happen. And, you know, you might go against your words or you might do certain things that are out of character. I understand that. Communication is very important. And there's a huge problem with people communicating with their bosses or communi communicating as a whole here when you're doing business. And I don't really understand why that's a problem. You would send an employee a message today and say, look, have you checked this? And they're not going to respond. You don't get anything back. You don't get anything back, right? And the only thing you get a few hours later is, good afternoon, sir. No response, nothing about what you've just, you've just asked. It's just really poor work ethics. And for me, moving to Ghana was a, was a really big deal for me and my family and for the entire venture and for the entire group of companies that we have. But I had to do it and I had to find a way to make it work. So let's say you are the individual and you're thinking of, you know, coming to start a business in Ghana, uh, opening up a business here. You're thinking, okay, am I going to end up sacking people? You need to get into the habit of letting people go. You know, I've learned it the hard way that if you want your business to work, you need to let people go fast and you need to employ people fast. Now, to be able to help change the culture that you have in the business, if you don't let the bad apples go fast enough, then you are, you're basically going to build a business that has really bad culture because the culture of employment that we have here in Ghana is really bad. The reason why certain companies have been able to survive all these years is because they have really good culture and they've implemented some of the strategies that I have. Because I've spoken to some of my Lebanese friends who have got businesses running here and they said, look, Derek, if something happens, we we'll let these people go. Sometimes in situations where we feel like, you know, we can manage and we can, you know, accommodate, we do accommodate. But in most cases, when the employees is, employee is really bad, we have to let them go. And it's unfortunate. So if you're thinking of running a business here, unfortunately, you're going to be facing these challenges. But embrace it and understand, find a strategy, find a way that you want to do things in the business. And hopefully it'll work for you. I mean, I hope that, you know, there's an entrepreneur out there that's listening to this that's learned something out of it. It's just a quick segment that I really like to do. If you get any value out of this, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about it. And I'm really grateful for all the support and all the comments that you guys give on this channel. Stay connected with me. My name is Derek Abaite. I'm out.